There is no way that I can actually believe that if MG Mode was not satisfied with Michael Cinco's work, he was still collaborating with him after three years. Not once, not twice, but three years. Hello everyone, welcome once again to my channel. It's your boy Luis Portellas and for today's video we have, I don't want to say a special video, but we have a particular video because we are going to be talking about the entire drama that's going on as of right now with Michael Senko, the Miss Universe Canada organization Nova Stevens and MG Mode. Today I decided to go out with some friends and just enjoy the weather because it was beautiful outside and I didn't pay much attention to my cell phone. So when I came back home, all the notifications just went wild and my phone was like going crazy at that point. That's when I knew that something was going on. So it turns out that I was getting tagged, I was being DM'd about a post that pretty much overall to give you the summarized version, MG Mode was accusing Michael Cinco of Nova not making it into the top 21. That's a bold statement right there. Now before I give you all of my points, as usual, I'm just gonna ask you to leave a like on this video so that it gets recommended to more people. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one almost every single day. And last but not least, let me know in the comment section what do you think about this entire drama, the story. Was this necessary or not? Mm. Go off in the comment section. Now without further ado, let's get into today's video. I really, really hope that you enjoy it. You strong. Strong. Okay, so let's start by stating facts. I personally was rooting for Nova Stevens when she was in Miss Universe 2020. She was one of my favorite candidates overall, not just because she's from Canada, but actually because I thought that she had a very, very solid background story, but also because she had the talent, the beauty, the uniqueness, all of those elements that you want to find in this type of candidates. I feel like Nova embodied that. I'm sure that I was not alone during the finale when we found out that Nova didn't even make it into the top 21. I was shocked. If you watch my live stream for Miss Universe 2020, you know that I was like, where's Nova? Like, Nova needs to be there. Like, for me, she honestly was one of the strongest candidates. But you know, in this type of contest, it is what it is. Sometimes you don't get what you expect. And I think that was the case for Nova. And at the end of the day, we don't have any other choices than to live with it, right? But it seems like not everyone felt the same way because certainly MG Mode had a lot to say on Instagram and made a pretty bold statement pretty much accusing Michael Cinco of Nova not making it into the top 21 saying that some of the dresses that he had to deliver for Nova did not make it in time, were ill-fitting and this is a big accusation right here because when you are accusing a top designer like Michael Cinco of not making his job properly but also not being professional and delivering the dresses within a timely manner this becomes a thing because it's not just saying oh i don't like how this person handled the situation but you're actually implying that the designer is not professional is not doing their job and this can have big repercussions when it comes to the designer of course i'm guessing that this is when everything went viral and that's when michael cinco wrote a lengthy post on facebook pretty much saying that mg mode Miss Universe Canada Organization and Nova Stevens were all ungrateful. I think that this is when the issue became serious because at this point, not only the organization was expressing their discontent with Michael, but at this point, Michael was firing back. And defending himself i mean it's his right to do so right at this point i'm going to assume that if you are here you already saw michael's post okay so leaving all of this drama behind now i'm going to give you some of my thoughts about this situation the repercussions of it and who i think it's wrong within this entire mess first of all and this is something that happens very very often that i don't even understand why people don't learn the lesson because it's been done so many times this was a private matter and it should have stayed a private thing it doesn't matter if you're not happy with the outcome of the competition if you were not happy with the dresses if you were not happy with the fitting worst case scenario send michael a message and tell him look i didn't like how you handled this i didn't like the dress i didn't think she looked beautiful in it like the fitting was not perfect i was expecting more but now at this point they involve pretty much everyone miss universe canada nova stevens and the entire beauty pageant community because all eyes are on them as of right now if mg mode had so much to say and complain about michael Cinco, not only about nova but about previous years as well you've been collaborating with michael for three years and you know what they say fool me once shame on you 
fool me twice, shame on me. There is no way that I can actually believe that if MG Mode was not satisfied with Michael Cinco's work, he was still collaborating with him after three years. Not once, not twice, but three years. So technically what you're telling me is that Michael was late and delivering ill-fitting dresses for three years and you still went back to him? And on top of that, because of Michael's post on Facebook, then we learned that all of these collaborations and the dresses that were being given out and the corrections, right? Because it's not just about the final dress, but it's all about the work that goes into creating the dress, maintaining it, and making sure that it fits perfectly up until the very last point of the competition. It is just unacceptable that the designer was not being compensated for his work. Not only that, but he was also taking care of the delivery of the dress the mailing fee and something that wasn't even specified but that I would actually like to find out it's what happened with Nova's airfare you know when she was going back and forth between fittings and making photo shoots in the dessert who was covering for those at the end of the day whether you like the final dress or the fitting of it whatsoever you should be grateful for it because designers put so many hours and when I say hours what I actually mean is weeks into the creations of these pieces so if at the end of the day something went wrong if you decided to go for something else, if you were not happy with the final outcome, being grateful should not be out of the table at that point. The person still spent hours and days and weeks working on that garment just for you to have it, for you to actually have the option of decide whether you want to wear it or you are not going to wear it. That's your decision. That's your decision. It has nothing to do with the designer. If anything, I feel bad for Nova in this case because I know that she was dragged into something that she was not asking for. This is a problem between MG Mode and Michael Cinco and Miss Universe Canada, but it has nothing to do with Nova. I believe that the girl was trying her best and maybe she didn't make it, the judges didn't see it. We don't know what happened behind closed doors when they were having their interviews. So at the end of the day, there are just so many assumptions that you are going to go crazy if you start thinking about every single possibility of why Nova didn't make it to the finals. If anything, this is hurting her personal image, her likability, even some chances of work in the future. You never know who might close the door because they don't want to sign up for all the drama that comes with the entire situation. But in this case, at the end of the day, the one who's going to find herself in the middle of the drama is Nova. Because when you think of the Miss Canada organization, you don't think of a face. It's a company. When you think of MG Mode, he's not the one competing for the crown. And at the end of the day, Michael Cinco is going to have other customers. He works for celebrities, A-listers, other Miss Universes. Like, he is not going to starve himself just because he's not going to be working with Miss Universe Canada organization anymore. So Nova is the one in the middle here. Talking about Nova, she actually released a video on Instagram that I believe the intention was good. She was trying to kind of like make things better, but she kind of acknowledges the fact that she never actually said thank you to Michael. And for me, that's a little disappointing because at this point, when all of these things are coming out and these allegations and everyone is fighting and there's so much drama, if you know that you did something wrong, that you should have said thank you, girl, just say it. Go on live or like make a post about it, like write it or film yourself, make a video, but say thank you. Nova was just going back and forth and saying that it, she thinks it's sad that all of these people that matter so much to her are fighting and that she finds herself in the middle, but like she loves everyone. But girl, all I wanted you to do is just to say, I'm sorry, I should have said earlier, Michael, I appreciate everything that you did for me, all the opportunities that you gave me, and I also appreciate the fact that you did it for free. And to the ones who are representing me, so MG Mode and Miss Universe Canada Organization, please treat this as a private matter. And if you are not happy with Michael's final product, with the delivery, with the fitting, whatever, then just move on to a different designer. There are thousands and thousands of designers out there, I promise you that there will not be a lack of choice. But you know, just my personal opinion is that at the end of the day, MG Mode, Miss Universe Canada were kind of benefiting from Michael because he was giving all of these fabulous dresses, all of these services and being so nice for free. At the end of the day, they were saving money, you know? It's all about business at the end of it. And the one that I really sympathize with is Nova because she was truly brought into something that she was not asking for. Did she make a mistake when she didn't say thank you earlier? Yes, because at this point, 
People are always going to say that if all of this drama didn't happen, she would not have said thank you. And it doesn't matter if she actually did it or not because now this is what people believe. There's not much you can do about it. So that's my opinion on the entire drama. To be honest, I love Nova. I still feel like she's super talented, super beautiful. She has a meaningful message and I appreciate that about her. And I think it's sad that she finds herself in the middle of so much drama and so much negativity that could have been easily avoided by dealing with things privately, you know? Miss Universe Canada, you can do better. MG Mode, you can do better. And Nova Girl, I hope that this is a lesson learned that going forward, whenever you have to work with a designer, with it doesn't matter. Girl, say thank you, always. That's like the base of it all. So there you go, that's my take on it. Um, I still want to read what you guys have to say, so by all means, go ahead and uh, express yourself in the comment section. For as long as you're doing it respectfully, all opinions are valid, but don't send hate to anyone, don't say anything racist, don't assume things that we don't know for sure. If you enjoyed my video, then don't forget to leave a like on it, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one almost every single day. And last but not least, after so much negativity, some positivity at the end of it, come here and give me a hug, because that's a little tradition on this channel. You know that I love you, that I appreciate you. Thank you for coming and spending a few minutes out of your day here with me. And, oh Jesus, until I see you next time, please stay safe, be kind to one another, sending you all my love. All my kisses, and I'll see you on the next one.